I have waited too long to do all. Oh, oh my gosh, I need to work out more. Hey there, cousin here, and welcome back to Always Doing. This is gonna be a haul, like big, big haul. The books that I showed you in the thumbnail, that's not even all the physical books. And there's digital ones too. I'm going to go through in chronological order because that's the only way I have any chance of hoping to keep track of everything. But uh, it's been a busy few months. Uh, part of it is because Christmas, I got money. So I ended up spending it on books. I made an order at Better World Books. I made an order at Value Books, which is a Japanese, it's like Better World Books, but it's Japanese. And um, I went to a used bookstore once in between Delta and Omicron and I bought some things there. And plus, ebook sales. We're just gonna, it's gonna get a cup of tea. Enjoy. And yeah, let's head into it. First, I'm going to mention arcs that I've picked up. One is Delilah Green doesn't care. And this is from Berkeley. It comes out February 22nd. I've heard great things about it. All I needed to know is that it's queer romance. It's fun and is very well rooted in, in its own queerness, I guess. It's the way that I heard Alexis Hall did a review of it on Goodreads. That was just wonderful. So there's that. In a New York Minute from Forever, that one comes out in March, and it's their first hardback release, which is exciting. And I've heard great things about that one as well. I think it's like a meet cute on the subway or a meet rude on the something. I've forgotten the synopses because I was so enamored that I knew I was going to read it, so I just picked it up. And the other advanced copy that I just, just, just got my hands on is, oh, is it A Wish Out of Water by Holly Trent? whom I really like. She does a lot of paranormal romance, um, science fiction romance, and uh, this one is in first in a brand new series about mermaids, and um, yes, please. I had a more actually on pre-order, so I got that as soon as it came out. I forgot if it was early December or late November. This is a Latinx romance collection, and they it's set up apparently like the book Love Actually, not the book, the movie Love Actually, which I have not seen. I know, I know but uh, that's supposed to be good. I may end up waiting. I was hoping to read it over December this year, last year, but maybe it'll be this year, get into the holiday mood. Nine Star Books had a sale and I should probably mention, I don't haul books that I've already read. I bought a few things there, but the one that I haven't read yet is uh, Playing Around by Suzanne Clay. This is, I believe it's a polyamorous romance contemporary and the author reached out to me years ago when the book first came out asking if I wanted to review it and I didn't have time then but it always just stuck on my radar so when it went on sale I was like oh well yeah I'll pick that up and then I went to the used bookstore that I hadn't been to for like a year and a half and I picked up two volumes of manga the first is Dr. Dmat volume two this is about because in Japan it's weird. Only doctors can do a lot of treatment. So if an ambulance comes to get you, they can do basic first aid, but not all that much else. So there's DMAT teams that get uh, dispatched out to big car accidents and disasters and things because they can do a lot more on site because it's filled with actual doctors. The first book, it was pretty good. It was okay. There were some parts of it that just kind of made me go, oh, you're doing this stupid thing for drama. I don't believe it. But, uh, yeah, it was enough to pick up the second one. And I also got volume three of Unsung Cinderella. They didn't have two. And like, I can get these for a buck. So I'm waiting. Like, I'm not paying four dollars if I just wait a few weeks and then I get it for a buck. So I picked up three because it was there. Still need number two. But this is about a hospital, I almost said psychiatrist, pharmacist, and uh, stories about, you know, hospital stuff. Apparently, it gets a little bit more suspensey later on, but in the beginning, it's very slice of life, at least hospital slice of life. Then I forgot if it was a sale or free, but I picked up Sleigh Bell's Rings from Holly Trent. This is an extended epilogue, maybe, from one of her series. And I have two of the three books in the series. If it's Holly Trent, I just pick it up. That's my golden rule. If Holly Trent wrote it, I will pick it up and I know I'm going to get to it someday. It's my break glass in case of emergency kind of books because I know I'm gonna like her stuff and then was a huge surprise because I subscribed to a newsletter by Lucy Eden I think it's called notes from paradise and uh, every newsletter there's giveaways because yay giveaways and some of them are for signed books and things that are only available in the US but there is an ebook giveaway that's available internationally and I won it so I ended up getting nine Lucy Eden Books. I'm just going to put the graphic up here, um, but the titles are Resolutions, Bear With Me, Blind Date with a Book Boyfriend, which I'm probably going to get to first, Cherishing the Goddess, Everything's Better with You, Everything's Better with Kimberly, Everything's Better with Lisa, An Angel for Daddy, and Afternoon Delight. So, wow, 
thank you. Thank you for that. And this giveaway is done every month in the newsletter. So I'll leave a link to the newsletter too if you'd like to give it a shot. It's obviously possible to win. And then my order from Value Books and it's completely, it's Japan only, Japanese language books only. I'll leave a link down below just in case, but just head up. But uh, what's neat about it is that you can like order all the books you want and it's a flat $5 shipping fee. And because it was my first order, the $5 was waived. So I got, there are so many things on there for so cheap. And in pristine condition, pretty unbelievable. So if you know, I like Masada Midi, I've been reading her Suchan series and I like her essays. I like her manga. So I got, I ran out of her books. So I got two more. One of them is Yonju Nana Todofuken Onna Story De Ite Myo. And that means like, a woman on her own trying to visit all 47 prefectures very loosely and that's what she does and she made some interesting um, conditions for the trips like she couldn't visit one more than one prefecture in each trip she had to go separately each time and she usually did like an overnight one at most two nights and she kept track of her expenses of the things she saw and uh, I'm just, you know, it's nice little armchair travel when we're stuck at home. And this other one is Onna Toyu Ikimono, which is that creature called women. And I just, she has funny, interesting takes on everything. Um, so I'll just be curious to see. These are go-tos for me if I want something sweet, interesting, and thoughtful. And in addition to the bunko, and I also got manga, which I've already read, I picked up nursing textbooks because if you don't know i am a medical interpreter and um, these i got four nursing textbooks they were a dollar each one of them was two dollars they are pristine some of them look like they weren't even studied from it turns out that nursing students are given a full set of textbook it's like included in their tuition or whatever so the ones that they don't use they end up selling back and these ones are pristine. So um, the first one is disaster and international nursing. This kind of goes with the Dr. DMAT thing. Disaster medicine is one of my interests. And the other three are some that I'm going to be keeping more for, I'm sure holding these up separately as if there's much difference other than the title. Um, but this one is um, I, the I, so ophthalmology. This one is gynecology. This one's thicker. That one might've been two bucks. And then this one is uh, nephrology and urology. So they're boring as hell, just books, but uh, n knowledge, perfect thing and cheap. Then I have the last two books for the Life's Library Book Club, which has shuttered its doors. We have Road Rosewater by Tay Thompson, and I've heard good things about it, but uh, I don't, it, apparently there were a lot of content notes going with it so i'm gonna have to make sure i have my heart in the right place before i do i think it's speculative it's from orbit yes yeah, as science fiction and the last one is also science fiction a long way to a small angry planet by becky chambers i recently read her monk and robot the first book in that series um it's psalm for the well built and i'm interested in trying more of her stuff as well as continuing the monk and robot series then chris ripper had a sale on zare the scientific method series universe where the first book is always free so if you were interested you saw me wrap that up if you're interested you can pick that up for free but the next five books are only 99 cents each so i grabbed all of those i've already read four of them i have two left and then there are still more books in the series and then i was very lucky and able to get a paper copy of the price of the ticket by james baldwin now this is his collected nonfiction. it was actually out of print can you believe that until last year when beacon press reprinted it i think it's the first time it's in paperback as well it is a monster it is huge and I am doing a buddy read of this. It's a group that I pulled together to read the autobiography of Malcolm X a little bit over a year ago. And this is going to be our next tome. So you'll be hearing about this, I'm sure, as we go through February and March. Our exact start date depends a lot on the book two prize and what people's groups are like. But anyway, we're, we're going to do this. I know I'm going through these fast, but otherwise we would be here way too long. And this is the last part. This is the Better World Books Hall. And if you don't know, they are a company that sells these books um, internationally and it doesn't cost an arm and a leg. If you're in the US, and I think they also have a warehouse in the UK, it's quite reasonable. For me, it's decent. Like other places, they want to charge me $20 to send anything. And this is actually not $20. I don't give up an arm and a leg. But um, the quality 
can be hit or miss, as can be shown with this Joanna Lindsay book, Keeper of the Heart. This is the sequel to Warrior's Woman, which is an off the wall, kind of out there, literally it's science fiction, romance, old school. And um, I was excited to see that this one has a step back, like, oh, hey, step back. But um, look what happened to his mustache. Somebody gave him a mustache. And somebody wrote, I don't know if you can see, there's like an eye. Can't really see. Somebody wrote on this. So I'm not thrilled with the condition of this particular one. A later book kind of makes up for it. Another one I got is Patience by Lisa Valdez. Yes, yes. This is the sequel to Passion, I think. It's historical romance that's more sexy than you might expect. And the first book has a off the wall scene in it as well. So I thought I'd finish up. This was supposed to be a quartet, but uh, only these two have been published and it's been years and years. So we'll see what happens there, but I'm going to enjoy what's here. Then there's Letters from Yellowstone by Diane Smith. And I picked this up because Heidi over at um, My Reading Life, I think uh, she read it and liked it. And it's epistolary and historical about a woman who kind of finagles her way into a scientific expedition going through Yellowstone National Park. So excited for this. This one I was sad because it has water damage, but it wasn't, this was damaged from when it came into transit for me. Normally I get books from Better World in like two weeks, but considering everything going on in the US and shipping and stuff, it took a full month and it must have been put through the ringer because the outer packaging was quite there. So yeah. Then we have a book in an academic library binding, Notes of an Anatomist by F. Gonzalez Cruzzi. This must be translated? I'm not sure, but um, yeah, medical nonfiction. And the last book I have is The Blood of Strangers by Frank Hewler, I believe. And it's about him being an ER physician. And this is another uh, discarded library book. And I picked it up and I was like, oh, look, in the hospital. That's pretty cool. And then I kept on flipping. Signed. That helps make up for the water damage. So those are all the books. I am not picking them up for you. I'm sorry. It's just not happening. But if you've read any of these, if there's any that you think I should push up my list and read sooner rather than later, let me know down in the comments below. And or anything you'd like to talk about at all. That's wonderful. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you're new and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.